Hey, I'm Chad Michael Collins down here at WonderCon 2017 with Comics Online. Uh, you might know me from Once Upon a Time, Sony Sniper series, and the brand new BYU TV series Extinct coming out this fall. So your, your main series has been the Sniper series. Um, what drew you to that franchise? What was your initial interest in, in joining that team? Um, well, Sniper came out in a, in a really fun way, and it's, it's kind of a gift as an actor when you do a project and then they kind of think of you for another project. So I did a movie called Lake Placid 2, modern classic Lake Placid 2 on the Sci-Fi Channel. Giant, giant alligators? Uh, yeah, alligators, crocodiles, crocodiles something like yeah. something rep reptilian that okay. comes from the water. But um, I did this movie with John Schneider and Cloris Leachman, and um, Sony owned the rights, and they were looking to get the Sniper franchise off the ground. There was three films starring Billy Zane and Tom Berenger as the, the title character. The guy thought me a dead ringer for Tom Berenger, so he kind of kept me in mind as he wanted to reboot the franchise. And lo and behold, a couple years later, I played the son of Tom Berenger, and now I uh, just finished my fourth movie. That'll be out this fall. Congratulations. Thank you. So you've also been in a lot of TV series, uh, Once Upon a Time, mm -hmm. CSI, NCIS, Castle. See what else? What am I missing? Oh man, Bones, man! I've, I think I've hit the CSI trifecta. I've got two out of the three NCISs, so I'm doing all, all right. But yeah, Once Upon a Time, NCISs, those those are the things that people recognize me from. And you got to be Frankenstein's monster, correct? I played Frankenstein's monster on Once Upon a Time, by season two or season three. I played the brother, the young naive brother to David Anders' character, uh, Doctor Frankenstein. And, of course, he gets me killed, and then he brings me back from the dead, and I kind of roar my way through the rest of the episode. So. Spoilers. Yeah, spoilers, sorry. I'm sure you've all seen it by now if you're paying attention this far. Uh, could you talk about joining that universe? It definitely has a deep mythology, mm -hmm. but uh, just talk about you know stepping in as Frankenstein's monster and that process. Well, as you can imagine, um, things are so tight and, and you don't know and I booked this role playing this character and I did not know that it was going to be Frankenstein so I literally flew to Vancouver and the first day I was there was you know you know hair and makeup test where basically they just kind of tested out airbrushing my entire body into a corpse so I'm like oh I guess I'm playing a reanimated monster here so that's when it got revealed to me once I was already up there that I was playing the monster so but what such fun and it was a throwback black and white episode very cool uh, the, the Papa Frankenstein was played by an actor named Gregory Itzen, who's an Emmy-winning actor from 24, and very, very greatly trained. We had a blast, man. A costume period pieces, black and white. I was stitched up all over the place with latex stitching and airbrushed. Three hours on, hour and a half off every single day for a week, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Something uh, new and exciting, right? Yes, absolutely. Can you talk about the CSI uh, series and NCIS just getting mm -hmm. to enter those worlds? I mean, they definitely have long-running series as well. Yeah. Uh, what did it mean to, to join those franchises? Yeah, it was fun to play on those. CSI Miami was, was probably one of my favorite experiences as an actor. I got to play a, a guest lead playing a, a cage fighter. And so I got to do a couple days of like uh, MMA choreography with a former UFC fighter who kind of kicked the crap out of me for for quite a bit around that ring, but really, really, really fun. Um, you know, the NCISs of the world, it, it's great to play the cop or the soldier. I got to play a, a Navy fighter pilot, like Top Gun style, kind of a cocky sort of Tom Cruise throwback uh, and NCIS New Orleans, but I, those are great shows. You know, it's, it's, you start, there's a problem, you catch the bad guys, end, and you can understand why they're so popular across America. Nice. Mm -hmm. So you have a new project coming up. Uh, yeah. You mentioned a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we just wrapped uh, season one of a new sci-fi series that'll be coming out called Extinct. Uh, BYU TV is a network that's getting into the scripted game, and they are making it. We created this show, 10 episodes, season one, October 1st, it'll air. Uh, it was created by Orson Scott Card and a writing partner of his named Aaron Johnson, New York Times bestselling author, author of Ender's Game. So it's kind of fun. It's, a, it's kind of a values-based sci-fi action-adventure series where uh, the premise is we humans are annihilated and wiped off the face of the earth. 400 years later, a few of us, a handful of us, are mysteriously reborn onto what's left of planet Earth. Alien species here, alien threat there. We are kind of repopulated to by benevolent alien race to kind of take out the race that alien race that took us out. But there's more at play, of course. And dun, dun, it's a dun. lot of fun. Yeah, fl elements of The Walking Dead and that survivor thing, elements of loss with a lot of flashback stuff, dipping back into the lives and the alien invasion 400 years past. So a lot of fun. So you've actually 
worked in, in pretty much across the gamut of uh, different you know, genres. Yeah. What's your personal favorite to play in? Uh, I mean, I grew up a comic book and sci-fi nerd. I grew up with Star Trek The Next Generation, X-Files. I collected everything from Spider-Man to Wolverine to Punisher, Batman and back again as I grew up. So anything in the sci-fi fantasy comic book universe is like my jam. But I'll take the soldier stuff all day long too. That's, you know, G.I. Joe's were my jam as well. So to strap on the sniper gear and do these movies for Sony is, is always a pleasure too. So we're at WonderCon, and you just mentioned you grew up reading comics. Mm -hmm. Are you reading anything now? Is there anything you're excited about in terms of the comic Man, world right now? Man, I, I am reading so many things lately. I'm catching up on Saga. I'm catching up on Fables, which is an amazing, fun series. Uh, just knocked out a, another Red Sonja collection last night. I love my Conan stuff. All the Punisher, Garth Ennis is my favorite writer of all time. So, of course, Preacher and, and his runs on Punisher and anything he does, I'll buy. So, um, Lazarus, I, I read a lot. Of got a comics. lot of books in your yeah, list. I do, yeah. Then the Zelda's turn to dust. Podcasting from the future like your time was dead and gone. And we rock the best site like comicsonline.com. Level 12 cybernetics, vibranium power acts. You communicate with snail mail while we wireless adapt. We are more than easy eyes. We just tend to.